Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Mr. W and today we're here with another game that's gonna be part of a collection. It is called How Stories Die. And that's all I rem really remember about this game because I got off Steam because I think it was like free. I believe it was free or something. And it looked interesting. And I'm kind of a sucker for like animated games or just, you know, goofy games and whatnot. I did play it like a little bit, see how everything runs, if I'm like interested right, interest, in, interested right away, sorry for stutter. So I, so far it looked interesting in a couple minutes I played, yeah, I didn't get that far in. But yeah, um, I think there'll be interesting one. And I'm pretty sure, now if I remember correctly, I think this is part of the one that, don't judge me, but one of the short one of the searches one of the games I search in Steam that had an adult on it and whatnot for anime. Don't dress me in my um taste, but I might have to blur stuff out. I hope not, but I might have to play it on the games. If it's gonna go the way I think it's gonna go. But anyway, let's start. Also this game is a bit buggy at times, so the certain settings I can't touch they or it will, it will just crash the game. So I'm um, yeah, let's start. <clears throat> From the dawn of time, there was an unbreakable bond between humans and characters. A symbiotic relationship that allowed both humans and characters to evolve. The humans defined the characters, and in return, the characters taught them morals and, and knowledge. Because characters taught because the characters taught the humans and because the characters taught the humans and evolved their minds, stories and the characters the humans created evolved as well. But this relationship was especially strong between authors and the characters. When the author starts writing his story, he does not have a whole detailed, detailed or even a whole plot in his mind. As he writes the stories, he goes on a journey alongside his characters and grow with them. It is during the journey when the author fills in the gap in the story, and thus the author and the characters write the story and evolve together. This mutual cycle of evolution has lasted for over 10,000 years tens of thousands of years till one character decided to break the cycle. His pride and ego prevented him from receiving help from the characters. He wanted to create a story that was entirely his without any influence from the story and characters, but soon he would discover that his bond goes way deeper than what he has ever imagined. Dot dot dot. Some place far away beyond the concept of time and space. Are you crazy? At least time before you cast your terrible time magic. And we got a bunny. Now, this is pretty interesting when I first started up because I, I get, like I said, I went a few minutes ahead. I was considering like they threw in a bunny with a secret and the secret is a carrot. Interesting. I like that. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting name, just bunny. Yeah, the ride was a little rocking easier. Stop crying, Nance. Nancy Noodle? Is what we're saying? Yeah, Nancy Noodle. You have to work hard on your time magic. Your time travel magic. Sigh. Well, but that's not one important part. Did we do it correctly? Yeah, there is no Chinese angle to it. Yeah, Daisy who? Daisy Hood? I don't know what you mean by that. I, I like the fact this person didn't question what you mean by the Ch Chinese angle. Weird. And the suggestion has been successfully installed, right? Stop grilling me, yeah, sap. This is the fourth time you asked me that. Can you please talk normally? I don't get get half of what you're saying. I am a gangster. I have to. Yes, a bunny. That's a gangster. Girl, just imagine getting robbed by a bunny. You are not a gangster. You are a bunny, and you are even a real bunny. You are a are. Yeah, stupid real, stupid hot, red hot. You can't say that in public. Sigh. What do we do now, gangster? Now we do a clean sneak before a hammer as the saw get gets us chilled off. And no more. We gotta get out of here before the other one kills us. Does that mean the book has been released yet? If it was released, I'm sure we would feel the effects by now. Still, the more time we stay here, the bigger the odds that the other one will notice us. Okay, well, what? You're goofy? The coppers can read your mind. 
I need to erase your memory. Like your terrible time magic? No. Thank you want us to get clipped off? Get your butt over here. This terrible bunny is about to ruin my plans without me know about them. I think my memory is safe by all means. I need some backup plan. Jake Lou. I'm going to erase your memory in one, two. Yanks. I really don't want to do this, but I'm not going to pronounce that name. Dreams depend on me. I have to transfer control over him. Although, nothing guarantees that he will try to get my memory back. Three. Well, here goes nothing. Let's hope for the best. Sweet dreams. Meanwhile, the kingdom of my Ontario, place of peace and prosperity, the last resort of humankind. And I need to move up my chip. <clears throat> okay, sorry, God, noise. Once humans had freedom to do to go wherever they wanted but now to be on the border of Zalteria a living hell is awake the demon king a ruthless and vulgar beast that ravaged out her world leaving only Alteria in one piece it is his fault that the people of Alteria are living in a golden cage no no one can get out no one can get in if anyone even survived the slaughter of the demon king yet the question still remains why does the demon king refuses to crush Alteria? Why does it stand alone in a sea of blood and ashes? But there's one thing people of Alteria would know. The demon king, demon king will attack. <clears throat> king, demon king is known for having no mercy at all. As no soul manages, as no soul had managed, um, they're missing something here. I mean, I ain't trying to be grammar Nazi or anything, but it'd be slow better if you had something right here. I mean, granted, it's a free game on Steam, so I'm, I should be too picky. As no soul managed to escape from his bloodbath, and when he and when and when he will attack the Demon King, the Demon King. Man, it is very late at night. I'm trying to do this, and when he will attack, the kingdom will be set on fire. Is that me or that just them writing? And when he will attack, the kingdom will be set on fire. Okay, that's probably just me. I uh, probably should mention this now. If you haven't been to my channel before, or you're first time watching, I do everything in one take. I don't do scripts, no nothing. If I mess up, I mess up. You will hear all of it in the, into the story. Now, if I do it too many times or just a long period, I will keep doing it. Then I will cut it out. If not. If I mess up, I mess up. You're going to hear it. Thus, everyone is living in the sh shade of evil demons and not knowing when their fate shall be sealed. But not all hope is lost. The king of Ontario still holds a secret weapon up its sleeve. The hero of fortune. At the countless prayer and offerings made by the people of Ontario, a certain goddess offered her help. She blessed a small child and designated him to be a great warrior with enough power to defend the kingdom against the demon king. She gave Smaltron a sapphire ring in order to mark him as her champion. However, there's one condition. At the age of 18, the child must eat the golden fruit in order to reach true potential. Only then the hero of fortune will raise the sword against darkness and restore the freedom and safety the people of Alteria once had. But one question still remains. Who is that hero? Once again, I need to... I should have done this before I start recording. So I've got to shift my oh, full bed. Full oh, chair. Can't do this uncomfortably. Alright, let's get in. More dots, more dots, more dots. Horus. Still sleeping. Dart. Sir! Mahaha! What are you doing in my room, Gudolf? Which is, I'm pretty sure it's a play on of Gandalf. Or, could be. I assume it's a play off of Gandalf. So you trying to wake me up. I was up until 3 a.m. trying to solve my homework. I'm very sorry, sir. Oops. Oh, okay. There we go. I didn't mean to wake you up in such a bad manner. 
We'll get it, Gudolf. I'm sorry I yelled at you. So what? For what reason did you come in my room for such an early hour? Came a message from your father. Seems like a very high priority mission. So I decided, I decided to not take the risk and give you a, the letter the moment I received it. He even said that with this message, I carry the fate of Arterian my, on my shoulders. Don't get excited yet. You know your father tends to make things tend to make things seem bigger than believe what they are. Yes, once on the annual King Parade, he scolded the guard for destroying the entire traditional Arteria because he leaned too much on the left. But I never heard him talk about the fate of Arteria. I don't even let him on, on your desk, Prince. I'm now must go. The Royal Garden the Royal Garden has never been so dirty. I must clean before anyone sees it or else heads would be flying. My head, of course. Farewell. So why was this message so urgent? Picked it up, start reading. Taurus. Taurus, my son, you almost reached the age of eighteen. Therefore, I thought it is time for you to take an important role in protecting the kingdom. In the eastern market of the capital waits you a guest of honor, the hero of fortune. I need you to escort the hero to the palace. Do not go formally. Despise of demon kings that were go by yourself with the skies. We don't want to attract any more attention than we need to. The hero of fortune must be easy spot. He shall be wearing a sapphire ring on his left arm. Now God, we don't have much time to waste. George of the Fourth George the Fourth, King of Arturia. Alright, completely forgot about the operation we started last month. Man, those flyers are supposed to everywhere, even though the forest and the shore. There's no chance of the hero of fortune, whoever he is, to miss the flyers. Just hope he knows where the eastern market is. The eastern market is. And the flyers, the flyers didn't go the, to the specifics there. So I am supposed to escort the hero. Oh well, I'm not complaining. It feel great to be entrusted with something important. Thank you, father. There's no way to, there's no way I would fail the kingdom. Or you. Changed my clothes as fast as I could and she went down to the castle. Now, I probably should say this now, if you haven't noticed. I'm saying myself. You ever notice? I do this a lot when reading in like visual novel or have to read a lot. I would just kind of paraphrase of what it's trying to say. Instead of just reading one by one one. Because it makes it, I think, go a little bit faster. Also, I thought it would be nice to just add a twist to it. Because I just like doing it. Just add a little twist to it. The meaning still gets around the same. Also, it depends how I'm feeling. Because right now, it is super late. And I'm slurring my words. I'm trying to slur my words, but... <clears throat> You know how the YouTube grind is. Okay, I'm at the Eastern Mark. Now all I do is find them. Pretty hot today. It's really annoying to see the. It's really annoying trying to see through the large hood. Get about something a little bit more comfortable. This mission sounded more exciting on paper. To be fair, the mission didn't really sound that exciting on paper. It's just an escort mission. It's not like you're escorting somebody through battle. It feels like any other annoying chore. More waiting, more waiting. I love how like naked these chickens are. As in like <laughs> could have added some details to this chicken. But I mean it's a free game. I'm not gonna be too much on it. I mean it looks pretty pretty full pretty full? Pretty pretty for a game. Look really pretty for a game. That's free. Alright, let's I'm I'm already but I wanna see that. Can't find them anywhere. A horse, a man with a sapphire ring. Continuing search around, looking at each in person, in each at each and every person's hand. You know, where that be someone going down just looking at your hands. I mean, it depends how he does it, because some people might not notice. Some might will notice that you're looking at somebody's hand. But I guess it really depends on the person. But apparently, I didn't need to worry about it. Fortune, the hero, of fortune did all the hard work for me. Yo ho, everyone, hey everyone, did someone see a sapphire ring? Kinda lost it. <laughs> and one, haha. <laughs> sort of fell on the ground, I can't find it anywhere. The golden ring with the sapphire on it. I can't take the kingdom if I won't find it. I don't, I don't really know about this thing, so if so anyone want to help me, I really appreciate it. What? How can you be this stupid too? Lucky. The hero, fortunate girl. 
Surprise, surprise. And we see that plot twist. Uh, I someone definitely saw the plot twist. The person I didn't see the plot twist was me, because that was I was expecting a dude. I actually was mostly expecting a dude. And I was slightly surprised at the girl, but in the day I forgot this is like uh, an anime game that had a tags and mature and other stuff on it. So yeah, it had my guilty pleasure on it. But once again, don't judge me. I was just desperate trying to save the secret part of the secret mission. Are you the hero of fortune? Yes, I am. The great hero of fortune. I'm here to save your capital assets. Weren't you told that the escort duty is supposed to be undercover operation? Yeah, I regular remember something like that. I hope her strength is not on the same level as her memory. Are you the one supposed to escort me? Yes, it's... Great, can you give me a piggyback ride? I would wanted to try it. Being serious right now. Anyways, where's the royal carriage? I expect a grand feast when I get to the palace. Oh, I heard that the sight of the royal guard garden is amazing at night. And will I get my own butler? I want to make him dance for me and stuff. Come on, come on, let's, get, let's go already. I'm pumped up. And a choice. Now you can see, like I said, I did play then, so I'm literally just gonna save over it. Lower your voice. Please lower your voice. Sorry. I will make sure not to scream any longer. No, this is a stealth mission to escort me. The hero of fortune back to the palace. Therefore, I should not let any information slip out of my mouth. I will make sure no one knows of our secret mission. You can count on me. He didn't get it. Are we there yet? Please stop asking. Are we there yet? No, no, please, no small talk. Till we get to Ballas. So, what's your name? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? But we are going to work together a lot, so let's get to know each other. I don't know who told you that. Well, I'm just supposed to escort you on to the castle, nothing more. My name is my name is Nozomi Tara. We'll call him um, Zomi. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna say no Zomi all the time. I'm gonna call him Zo Call him. Call her Zomi. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. What's your name again? Horus. I'm the Prince of Alteria. Okay. You don't seem very surprised that I'm the prince. Princes are like lying cubs of humans, right? I said they are hares to the jungle, but on the inside they're just like every other friendly animal that's one that's one way to put it all right prince horse are we there yet it's horse not horse really i thought horse is pretty common first name in capital why do you think that i've seen a lot of people calling each other names like horse shit or horse butt those are swear words not people's name so really, seriously how close can you be anyways it's already been half an hour we're still walking around in, in cities around the market I don't know this area very well. I guess that happens when you live most of your life inside the palace. You want me to navigate, but you don't know this area at all. I still think I would be better navigator than you. I believe that too. And she probably is gonna be definitely right. But of course won't allow that. And that's why. I don't know where I punched as fast as lightning and dug in my face. What the hell? You dumb oak, oaks, ox, dumb ox, not oaks, oaks, dumb oaks, you dumb ox. I've been waiting for three hours straight. I'm sorry, you missed mistaken. I'm not the one you're looking for. And don't go punch people in the street with no damn reason. I'll have you arrested. Maybe you don't recognize me. I am the, you still have the audacity to argue with me. You made me waste three hours of my precious time for, by waiting for you. Why did you wait for me? She must be assassinated sent by Demon King. Follow the woman that Demon King spies might try to stop me. Crap, if only... I forgot what we're calling now, we're anything. I was trying to... Nice. If Zomi didn't shout so loud, to make her run for it. First, I need to push her back to prep Zomi. 
Hiya, out. Yeah, he failed. Yeah, she totally predict my kick. Oh no, a second kid <laughs> is attacking the Prince Horus. I must help him. Nomi raise her fist. Come on, get it, Smelly Natty. Nomi's run, she has a sword. Smelly Nelly, you will take that insult as soon as your thorax as soon as your thorax will sh shall fill my wrath. Oh, I get a feeling the Demon King and Sessa aren't the most professional. The red haired girl drew her sword and lifted the nail. The sun's like sun's light wash her sword in yellow and blue gold. Naomi watch out uh, wait. Ring blue gold. Took a second look at the rare girl's hand. Where's the ring, though? They couldn't put that in. <laughs> no, that's not it. Wait, can I be it? Oh, she don't have. I mean, she lost her. Can I be it? I don't know. Oh, hey, stop the battle. There's no stopping now. This is Bum Mona. Can't let this impertinent buffoon off. She's right, Prince Horus. I am the hero. I must defend the innocent. You are not. You cannot defeat the hero of fortune. Exactly. No matter who you are, you cannot defeat the hero of fortune. I'm glad you are the. I quit. I. <laughs> if I was even tired, I still can't even pronounce this. Your downfall. It is you who are the. I, I, I accept your loss. No, it is who. Both of both you the hero of fortune. Eh. This is impossible. It is really we gotta find a solution when we arrive at the palace. The solution is simple, she's an imposter. I just keep trying to impersonate the hero of fortune. It No way tickle her until she screams for mercy for still in my spotlight as the hero of fortune. Dude, I'll be real honest, if I really did have to execute somebody just right on the spot, I'm taking you out. You don't look like you could defend me or anything. I know. I understand you can't judge a book by its cover, but like you, we we've been a few pages into you. You look dumb. You look. You, you know what I'm saying? You look dumb. You act dumb as a dumb as a rock and whatnot. You you're just hot headed. You look like you at least defend somebody. Let's not do anything rash. I'm still confused right now. We are still on a supposedly secret duty. Well, then find a solution once you arrive. He is very wise and solve any problem in mere minutes. That's why I can count on father. You find me. Smart people can do miracles like the. Oh, uh, never mind. What does that supposed to mean? Why well, she's out back there? Hmm. You are the suspicious being a imposter. Great, one don't agree. No. All that's left is. No way, she's an imposter. I know that horse, believe me. Yeah, I forgot this girl is stubborn. How do you know my name? Well. Uh, Alright, you are a citizen's capital, so you have to know the name of your prince. It's only for a natural for citizens to know the name of the royal family. So that's not convincing. Okay. I was due to her choose her to execute, but you're not convincing. I like call her by name, but I remember I didn't ask for a name. What's your name? No, um, what's that? You won't turn you won't told the name to hero of fortune you needed to escort? If I was told the name of the true hero, we wouldn't have this problem. We'd rather know who the hero of fortune is. It's me. Someone tells me it's going to be a pain in the ass to do with this girl. Look, you may know that you are the hero of fortune, but I can't know for sure. It's like a defendant knows if he's guilty or not. Just, but the judge doesn't. The, the judge doesn't. Mm. His expression was just fat, her dissatisfaction. Very clearly, but she understands. Good, now let's go. What's your name? I still can't understand why no one bothered to find out my name and tell you what. Are your, all your servants completely in YouTube? In, in YouTube? Mm. Yeah, advanced words, not my thing right now. I was never good with like, um, any advanced English. English is my first language, but still, I'm terrible with words. In what? See? I ain't the only one. I don't know. I don't know what I did, but if I were told the truth whose name, then we wouldn't have that. <clears throat> you guys are going in circles. When does a boring conversation end and we start kicking demons butt? When the idiot points out you guys look stupid, it's a good time to stop. Well, I got carried away. Rico, the hero of fortune at your service. No, I'm the hero of fortune. No, I'm the hero of fortune. 
My turn. This knocks in the palace. Really? Woohoo! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Not to pursue, persuade me? You're adamant, but at least you don't have a mentality of seven mode. Although, if you come, I promise you a chance of being a hero of form, uh, fortune. No, that would suffice. Oh, I wouldn't say that bearing responsibility for the fate of a time kingdom is a thing persuaded with, but I guess it worked. Pretty weird. A uh, horse, we're kind of lost. I'm coming to help. How do I say that? I don't know how to get back either. I never thought such thing would happen. Two heroes of fortune, even though impossible. Of course, I need to answer truthfully. Do you actually know the way back? Shut up, I'm trying my best. May I ever take over? Are you in front of capital? Nope, at this point, choosing our path randomly will get this step faster. As much as I don't want to commit it, come on, horse. Just remember the way you took it into the mark market in the morning, walking opposite direction. Nope, nothing comes up. Seemed like I have to swallow my pride and ask a random stranger. Uh, excuse me? Oh, nice. The stranger already came to us. A small girl approaches us. Her hand is sweating from nervousness, wetting the sapphire ring. Fuck. You Prince Horus, right? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bug you. I told you you were going to escort me to the palace, right? This is a nightmare. This is a really bad nightmare. Are you the hero of fortune? I know the question to that. The yeah, answer to that. The small chance the answer is no. Yep, I'm the hero of fortune. I'm... <laughs> yep, I hope we get along. <laughs> Shit. Here's my ring. Don't worry, I will protect the kingdom. You can count on me. Saying that with such a shaky voice sound almost ironic. Hey, listen, what's your name? Um, are you sure you want to hear it? Yes. What's up with that girl? Okay, probably you won't laugh though. Sure. My name is Haru Haruka Sonji. Sonji? What is it laugh at? It's a perfect normal name. Right, Haru. We have a kind of a tough situation here. These two other girls, Roku and Naomi, are claiming to be here at Fortune as well. Really? That's great. Great. I was scared before I died I would be the only one finding the Demon King by myself. Now there's two other heroes fighting alongside me. I'm relieved. I don't think that has how that works. I don't think how I don't think that's how it works. There's only one hero, Fortune. Now there's no positive. I want to tell the truth, but she looks so hopeful and happy. I don't want to break her. Save you. Save you in. More. I probably should just. Probably should rewrite that. I can't now, but I probably should put one, two, three. So just. Mm. Eh, anyway, um, it'd be fine anyway. You got it wrong. Actually, there's only one here with Fortune. So, so how's the three of us? I don't know. We have to figure out somehow. I'll tell you what, we will go back to the palace and solve the problem once we get there. Oh, okay. Oh, right, who's that? Oh, uh, yeah, another hero fortune. Oh, I thought discovered this is another imposter. This hardly perplexes me. To tell this to now makes you look like she just saw a color blue for the first time. Ah? Uh -huh. No, that doesn't matter. I'm sure heroes, horse daddy would recognize the hero fortune immediately. Come on, I'm going to suffer some snack in the palace and dessert a golden fruit. Now let me start drooling. Haha, <laughs> I want it to taste like. It would taste like shit. Eh? I'm pretty surprised. Or, uh, Haru said that. Why are you looking at me like that? It is known that the goddess create the golden fruit by taking animal feces and mud and slapping it in the, middle, in the shape of an apple. The reason it's called golden fruit is because of pee. I wish I'd gone back in time and blocked my ears. Well, I ate some good shit, this isn't so bad. That's just a figure of you actually didn't eat it, right? Did you did you really eat it? How does it taste like? Did you get any disease afterward? What is it like to eat it? Oh, a burst on the side of me on the road up to the course of somebody who ate poop. Please don't answer that one more time, I will vomit. Yeah, now nah, me don't. It starts to feel like a very dark chocolate, quite bitter with no shit. Riku, Riku pinched Nami's arm. Ouch. Your words are nauseating right now. 
I'm no stranger to just disgust disturbing sights. Stop right now. Thank you. That's so interesting. We let your decision to eat it. I was. We close hand moved to the new towards the sword on our back. I'll tell you later. No snacks. It's amazing you set appetite after that conversation. But first, how, how do you know the way about the castle? Yes, thank God. Please lead the way. You want me to lead the way? Yes, no problem. You know, I'll do my best. Don't worry. I'll definitely succeed. What are you getting worked about? Not vacation. Not a suicide mission. Uh, yeah, sorry. Honestly, what, what is these three? I'm just open talking about eating poop without any kind of embarrassment. One's pulling out his sword on any amount of annoyance. The other one is weird. Let's get this over with. We successfully made it to Casper without meaning to get another hero fortune. The problem was these three were even worse than me navigating, so we arrived in nightfall. Woohoo! So this is a great palace. What's that? That's a window. What's that? That's a flower pot. What's that? That's good off. What's that? Can you see your stubborn people here? Hmm, I don't take order from you. Please stop following me. We'll just guess here. Haru is right. Haru is right. Please stop. Oh, just call your father. Okay, but when we meet, please don't barge in and let me do the talking. Hello, father, are you here? Oh, friends, you're back. Yeah, good. Uh, there's a problem. Put you to go to three, three with Bonji. Wasn't it supposed to be one? Man, to the father, I need to consult him regarding that matter. Fortunately, that's not possible. King um, feels a bit ill. You want I can deal with a message to him? Yes, thank you. Okay, now I need to wait for all the answers. This is awkward. I need to start a conversation. And that's where I'm going to lead off it. What, lead off? I'm definitely going to end off it. I think I got a good enough um, meat and potatoes of today's video to introduce y'all introduce y'all to this game. It so far is interesting to me. Like I said, I did play ahead a bit, so I'm gonna stop right here because the rest of everything is obviously gonna be new. But I'm gonna just stop right there. You know, I think I got a good episode in. Yeah, but let's say um, thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe. Till next time, Mr. W is out. Bye.